guys, so we're back with another video. This is another animation story, and it's uh, I'm gonna be reacting to one. It's called I Can't Stop Lying, and it seems pretty interesting. And my brother's here. Hi. Hi. All right. Well, I'm gonna start. Hi, my name is Linda. No, my name is not Linda, and it is very difficult for me to tell you my name. It is not a complicated word at all, and I am not ashamed of it, but the thing is, it is very hard for me to tell the truth. Wait a minute, I will try to pull myself together. My name is Courtney. You know, telling the truth is the hardest thing in the world for me, and the problem is that I am a pathological liar. Well, I'm not lying because I am a bad person, but because I am sick. Yes, exactly. I have a certain mental disorder that doesn't allow me to tell the truth. This problem occurred five years ago. Guys, I have no idea if that's true. It was almost... Like, is that even exist? Does that sickness even exist? Probably, but... Um, in the light. I don't know. For a long time, I did not have any oxygen, and some parts of my brain began to die. And when I was finally rescued and came to my senses, I forgot many things. For example, where I lived, what my last name was, and how old I was. Well, I had to learn many things again. For example, to hold a spoon in my hands. Hell, I have never known before that it was so hard. I also learned... Alright, so actually, um, um, somebody, uh, I forget, like, one of my lunch teachers, um, you know, daughters, um, they had something similar to this, and they was it, she was kind of like she had trouble even talking, and like nobody really wanted to talk to her, and it was to be honest, it's pretty embarrassing sitting with her. Uh, so basically, she's like the girl with that no one wants to sit next to. So yeah. Alphabet and the names of my parents and friends again. It was difficult, but I coped with. It. Actually, that's similar to the believe it or not, that's similar to what I had um, in my. Lunch. Just one nuance remained unresolved. After that tragedy, I began to lie all the time. I was lying literally at every step without any malicious intent, and sometimes it was related to very important matters. And I know that I'm lying, but I can't help myself. I realize that it is difficult for you to understand this, and even my parents did not believe me until my attending physician diagnosed me with a pathological craving for lying. No one had any doubts that the reason was exactly because of that accident, because it was after that that I started having problems with telling the truth. However, nobody knew how to treat this and what to do. At school, everyone called me a liar and nobody wanted to talk to me. Of course, with my lies, I set up my teachers, my classmates, and even the principal. It annoyed absolutely everyone, with no exception. All right, that's absolutely awful. I know she can't help it, but I'm not really, that's not really, I don't really like the main character in this animation story. I don't usually like them, to be honest. But yeah, this one I really don't like. But I know she can't help it, so. For example, when the school principal asked me if I had seen the biology teacher, I answered, yes, I've seen him, and pointed in some direction. Well, how does she not get in trouble for lying? But in fact, I had no idea where he was. And I could have set up the innocent person saying that I know how he or she broke the chandelier in the conference room. Although I really saw who did break it and it was not that person at all. And in pointing to an innocent individual, I was not trying to get revenge or anything on him or her. I just need... Wait, so you're telling me if, um, if there, these, if she and another boy were going in a fight and saying, oh, like, for example, who spilled the soap bottle... And someone says, "Did you, and someone says, did the boy spill the soap bottle?" He, you would, he would, he, she would say, it, "You know, it was me." Oh my God, this is really confusing to me. A lie. In any community, I became an unwanted and unpleasant person. No one invited Makes me sense, to any to be events honest. or parties, and my friends began to refuse to go out with me. And you have to take a shower. You are so excluded from public life. In fact, oh my god. I mean, I feel bad for her. She's full of dust. That was my mom. Oh my god. Go 
dangerous even for me, for my health. Once I had such a severe stomach ache that I could not get out of bed. I was screaming. Everything went dark around me and there was a terrible hum in my ears. My frightened mom called an ambulance and I was taken to the hospital. But doctors needed to realize the clinical picture in order to understand where to look for a problem. So they began to ask me where exactly it hurt and what kind of pain it was. And as I usually did, I showed them a completely different place and described totally. Why is she doing this to herself? And pain. Needless to say, at that moment, I almost lost my life because I sent the doctors on the wrong track, which led to postponing the emergency operation for several hours. Also, a visit to the eye doctor is a real quest for me. That is because I can't name the letters that I see, though I can see them honestly. I name completely different letters and because- Wait, so if they said you have a cavity, she'll say no if she does have a cavity. This is not good. This, the eye doctors always think that I'm completely blind. They can't figure out what eyesight I actually have, and it's not fun at all. Although there are some hilarious moments in my story, they are not fun for me, of course. My parents like making fun of me and asking, Courtney, do you want to clean the floor? Oh, honey, do you really want that? Well, okay, we can't prevent you from doing it. Oh, you probably want to wash the windows as well. You can do it right after washing the floor. Well, can you imagine in what a smart way they use my illness? In my opinion, this is really... That's not nice. And unfair. They... Yes, I feel, I feel the same way as her. ...pelated me using my disease for mercenary Army. purposes. Army. My older sister Helen is also behaving just like them. She constantly takes my pocket money from me after asking, Courtney, do you need this money? Then I'll take it, don't you mind? And this person is my close relative. Shame on her. This could not go on anymore, and I asked my parents to help me and solve my problem somehow. Otherwise, sooner or later, my classmates would abandon me, and I would have an even harder time. That's actually true. The classmates would abandon her. And my classmates are not the main villains in this story. No one knows who I will meet on the street when I lie next time. Everything can end very badly for me. But unfortunately, my parents were as powerless as medicine because my case was completely new for doctors and they have not been able to fully study it yet. But a solution to my problem was still found. It emerged as unexpectedly as the problem itself. A psychotherapist who was studying my case found me and said that he knew how to help me. The thing was that he, together with his colleagues, a neurologist and a biochemist, created a drug called Truth Serum. This is powder that I should take to... Okay, guys. Um, to be honest, do you want me to be completely honest? Um, I would not trust him. Look at that. What is that? Would you trust him? Mm -mm. All right, well, let's see. Three times a day, and for several hours after that, I will not be able to lie and will only tell the truth. This is tempting, but the main problem was that the serum had not been tested at all before because it was invented specifically for me, which meant that I was going to be the first one to try it on myself. For some time, I was thinking about whether I wanted it, trying to assess the possible risks and benefits. But one case settled everything. On that day, a girl from my class asked if I could stay after lessons instead of her to help clean up the physics cabinet where she had burst a balloon filled with paints. Of course, I agreed, although it was really unfair. She just took advantage of the fact that I was lying and forced me to do what I should not and did not want to do. So no one is helping her, so she's probably going to take it, but I don't know what's going to happen now. On that day, I washed the classroom, and being extremely exhausted, I came home in tears. It was at that time that I called the professor, asking him to bring me the truth serum immediately because I could not live like this anymore. He told me to calm down and said that we could start the test in one of the clinics in the morning. Fortunately, I did not change my mind overnight, and together with my parents, we went to the clinic. There, we signed some documents and were sent to a special room where the doctor was waiting. 
She said, unfortunately, I did not, I still wanted to take it. So that means something's bad in there. And then the powder was dissolved in water and I had to take the first sip and then answer the questions of the doctors. I was really worried, but there was no turning back. I took a sip. My heart beat really fast and I felt feverish. My fingertips went numb and my tongue began to move uncontrollably inside my mouth. I was really scared and already thought that something had gone wrong, but suddenly I started talking very quickly. Hello everyone, my name is Courtney. I am 16. I live with my parents and older sister. The Wait, really? I didn't know that I, that was a twist for me. I didn't know that it would actually help, but you never know. It still has some time for this video, so yeah, let's see. Important thing about me is that I hate washing the damn floor and dishes. I hate cleaning and doing household chores. Also, I need pocket money, all my pocket money, to the last penny. It is mine. Is that clear? Oh yes, it was I who accidentally scratched my dad's car when I played volleyball with a friend, and I caught a virus on the internet after which our computer stopped working. I was shocked. I began to say things that I hoped no one would ever know, and I was ashamed of it because I did not want and did not plan to tell them to anyone. Damn, my parents were really mad at me then. All in all, the experiment was successful, and now I had to start taking the truth serum on a daily basis but I was not sure that I wanted this. Well, it is one thing to stop being a pathological liar, but it is another thing to tell the whole, absolutely whole truth, even when it is not necessary. But still, I... Um, if I were her, I'd rather just, um, I would rather, like, because she can't live, like, just lying like that. I'd rather just stay like that, but we'll see what she wants to do. I decided to at least somehow comply with the instructions of the professors. That is, take the serum two times a day and see what happens. And here is what came of it. On the very first day at school, I had a huge failure. I drank the serum before class and immediately came out to the English teacher. I said that she had terrible clothes and her hair color did not suit her at all. And then I told one of my classmates that I considered her ugly as she now had big eyes like ones of a cow, thin lips, and a somewhat weird nose. And then I told another classmate that it was better for her not to wear skirts considering what type of legs she had. I tried to shut up. No, I really tried as much as possible to do it, but I didn't succeed at all. I told such horrible things to everyone around me. In short, I was very lucky that no one had beaten me for my words. On that day, I came home after classes and started crying because she didn't get in trouble. Oh, she it was did. much worse than lying. I had oh. a lot of people voicing my thoughts, my opinion, about which no one asked me. God, what a shame. And now I have to make a difficult choice. Should I continue to take truth serum or go on living without it? Well, maybe I should take it only in extreme cases when there is a threat to my honor and life, for example. What would you do if you were in my place? I will wait for your answers in the comments, and based on them, I will be able to make a decision. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Alright, so you guys actually should um, comment what to do on that channel. Um, if I were her, I'd... Oh, God. If I were her, this is what I'd do. I'd basically just... Um, I'm actually very not sure, but I think I'd keep trying to drink it, or I'll just... Um, I'll keep drinking it, but then um, I'll ask them for try to make another cure. Now comment down below um, on both of our channels what you think we, she should do. Okay? Peace.